Hey everyone, my name is Rachel Forgett. Miss Parsons asked me to do a flip grid to share my family's experiences with the distance learning and the pros and cons that went along with it. Um, we've been a part of Ridgeview for the past two years. Um, my oldest, Lily, just finished sixth grade. Elijah just finished fourth grade. Gracie just finished second grade and Josiah just finished first grade. Um, I'll kind of share with you kind of how it all started with the distance learning, how we kind of got into it, and then um, like our schedule, how we kind of got our ske daily schedule going, and then how we finished off at the end. Um, at first, of course, we were all devastated that the kids couldn't go back to school. Um, of course, they missed their friends and their teachers. Um, at first, it was really difficult. Um, we have a desktop computer, I have an iPad, my husband has a MacBook, but he uses that a lot for work. Um, and so it was a little difficult um, getting started, figuring out how we were gonna handle it all with four children using the devices. So we basically had two devices that we could use. Um, our desktop is kind of old, um, so it, did, it wasn't compatible with all of the sites. Um, my iPad pretty much turned into the main one that we used for almost everything, but it was kind of difficult um, trying to figure out a schedule of who's gonna use what when. So um, the first couple days were pretty rough on me. Uh, my, my kids did pretty well with it, but I probably did a lot of crying the first two days. Um, it just was so overwhelming to me to try and figure it all out um, because I'm just not very good with computers. Um, and so, after a while, really after the first few days, we kind of got into a groove. Um, it turned into Elijah, my, four, my fourth grader. Um, he is an early riser, and so he would wake up before everybody else and get on the computer on his own. And by the time everybody else kind of got up and got going, he was almost done with his work. He, he basically did it all without my help, which was fantastic. Um, and then I would get up and work with Josiah and Grace on some of their things and um, <clears throat> kind of try and, okay, Josiah, you be on this one for a little bit um, and then take a break. Now, Grace, come use this for a little bit. And um, so I basically, Elijah would be done before breakfast. We'd have breakfast and then Josiah and Grace, I'd work with um, kind of taking turns with them until lunch. And then after lunch, um, then they were all kind of done with theirs and then Lily and I would work together. And it was a little bit difficult with her because she had seven different classes to do. And so instead of doing like a little bit of each class a day, um, it kind of worked out for us that we would do um, one, like Monday we would knock out all of her math and all of her PE. And then Tuesday she would knock out all of her ELA and her critical thinking. And then Wednesday we would work on um, some of her other stuff. And kind of we worked it out where each day we would do a different subject. Um, and so, and then we would, you know, pretty much be done with all of it by dinner. Um, but it was, it was difficult the first few days and sometimes you know, Lily and I would be working even into the evening with some of the different things that she had to do and me taking time to figure it all out. And there was a lot of times where I'd be reaching out to the teachers um, because I was confused on, you know, usernames, passwords. Okay, this isn't working for us on this device. And um, so it was, it was pretty difficult. I kind of counted up that the different websites that we were on, I think was about 17, unless I I'm not remembering all of them. The ones I can remember, about 17 different websites and platforms that we were using through my four children um, with the distance learning. Um, by the end, we kind of got into a groove. Um, and so by the end, we were kind of doing it quicker and knocking it out quicker, whereas Lily um, sometimes would knock hers out where she'd have Friday free because she was done with all of her work for the week. So um, we kind of got used to it, got into a groove and, um, you know, it got easier. Um, so, you know, it was overwhelming at first, but it got easier. We kind of figured out how it worked best for our family. It was difficult sharing the devices because like our computer was kind of messed up and sometimes it would not work. And then we only had my iPad um, to try and do all four of the kids school with. So that was difficult, but we made it work. You know, we got through it and 
Um, so some of the pros and cons, I think, um, the cons is just, like I said, not having enough devices to kind of, we had to share a lot and, you know, figure that all out. Um, there were a lot of sites to get on and that was more confusing for me um, because I'm just not very well, um, I'm not technological. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, remembering logins and stuff was difficult and then, um, you know, what different sites would work on which um, which different devices we had. Um, and then I was a little bit concerned with the kids falling behind because of course they're not in school, they're not getting the full learning experience that they would be. Um, but, you know, we all do what we have to do to get through this crazy time. Um, some of the pros, the teachers were fantastic. They were so helpful. Um, you know, anytime we had a problem, they were real quick to respond. They were there anytime we needed them. They were very gracious about us. You know, if we didn't get something done on time because we couldn't figure it out, they were very gracious. Um, and you know, one of the pros for us because of the crazy times was that it, we did not have to stress about it being, um, uh, a grade that it, we know it, we knew it was just participation. As long as they were participating, it was okay. And it wasn't stressful for us to make sure that, you know, they did their best on everything. It was, you know what, it's important just to get, get through this time right now. Um, so that kind of made it a little bit more relaxing for us, not so stressful. Um, it was nice to be able to spend more time with them in their learning, um, to see the different sites they were using and to see how they worked with those. Um, I especially loved working with Lily. Um, it kind of, I guess in a way, was a bonding experience for her and I to be able to do some of her lessons. I, I basically did her math with her, her science with her, and I enjoyed those. Um, math was always a strong subject for me, so that was fun. I really enjoyed doing math with her. Science was really neat um, because I was able to learn along with her with stuff that I had forgotten. Um, and so that was, a, that was a pro. It was really neat for me to be able to be involved in that with them. However, I will be very thankful if school starts again in August because it's a lot to homeschool. I don't think I would ever be a good homeschool mom. Um, anyway, so um, one of the things that I did want to say, though, is that um, we are so blessed to be at Ridgeview. Um, this is Lily's sixth school that she's been a part of. Some of the schools have been good. One of them, not very good at all, but Ridgeview is by far the best school that we have been to, and we are so thankful and so blessed. The teachers, the staff, you guys are amazing, and I cannot tell you how many times I tear up just talking about how amazing Ridgeview is. So you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for all your hard work and um, your willingness to just teach our children and to love on our children um, and just build their characters. Um, we appreciate you so much. I hope um, the video has helped you guys, um, you know, kind of get an idea of how the experience was um, and hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you.